welcome back to Stitched Up. So we are now post Christmas. We're in that um, that twilight zone between Christmas and New Year, and I thought it'd be really nice to do a bit of a post Christmas catch up. So I hope you've all had a really, really wonderful time if you do celebrate Christmas. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say again a huge thank you for supporting me all the way through Vlogmas. I've really enjoyed it. It's been nice to not have to pick up the camera for a few days. Um, but also, I really appreciated how much um, everybody said that they really loved the sort of fly on the wall stuff and um, following me around with what I'm doing in the chatty type videos. So I thought I would start um, post Vlogmas with one of those types of videos and today I've just made myself a coffee. I've just walked Marley and he's now in his crate just drying off after going um, down the local lanes. My hair is um, just yeah a nightmare this morning but um, I am going to do some sewing today which I'm so excited about. Um, yeah I'm going to get the coat again started. It's all cut out as you know it's been cut out for about two weeks but just with everything that's been going off there's been no time, so I have time today. Um, I do have to nip out for an appointment later on this afternoon, but up until then, I have time, so I am going to be sewing. Um, I got some fabulous gifts for Christmas. I'm so lucky and so very, very grateful. And um, yeah, I have opened my gifts from the lovely JJ and also the lovely Anna from You Got Me In Stitches. Um, so I thought I would show you those as well and um, a couple of other lovely bits that I got for Christmas. So let's go upstairs to my sewing room and um, we can get started. Right then, so first things first, let me show you what the lovely Anna bought me. Um, oh, this was just so beautiful. She's bought me this gorgeous pashmina um, in this beautiful blue colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is so soft, so soft. Um, and it's just a, such a gorgeous blue. Um, so thank you, Anna, for that. You really didn't have to, but it's just so beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, and the lovely JJ. She sent me such a lovely card with a lovely a lovely um, note inside and she sent me some fabric. And oh my word, she must have remembered because on one of her, one of her one of her sales that she has on the fabric edit, she was selling this fabric and I just wasn't quick enough to get it and she obviously must have got some more and she must have remembered that I really loved it and she sent me this beautiful beautiful. I think it feels like a, a viscose but oh look at that. How gorgeous is that? It's absolutely beautiful. I just love the love the design of it. I don't know how much there is. It, oh gosh, it feels like a lot. It looks like there's about two and a half meters, three meters, something like that. It's just divine, isn't it? So I have no idea what I'm gonna make with that yet, but oh my word, it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you, Jay. And the other fabric she sent me is this gorgeous, gorgeous cord it's a needle cord and it's in this beautiful burgundy colour it's stunning I mean these two fabrics together look amazing look at that isn't that amazing um yeah this is just gorgeous it's got some stretch to it as well and I absolutely love this colour at the minute really really love this colour this deep burgundy and the gorgeous greens and things I absolutely love it so thank you thank you so much Jay I am so so overwhelmed that you could send this to me so thank you I really appreciate it um I have now I was at work yesterday and I did bring Jay's Christmas present home with me that I took to work before Christmas ready to send to the post office in my lunch break and didn't get round to it and then I left it at work so it's been sat there all Christmas fortunately it was just hidden under my desk so it was still there um so I've got that now and I'm going to get that sent over the next couple of days to Jay so I'm so sorry Jay if you're watching that you're going to get it a little bit late but I hope you like it when you get it um and the only sewing related thing that I got for Christmas was when I went to the KB sewing retreat back in October. Shan had a gorgeous hand turned um, awl and seam ripper and I was admiring it the last time I went in May and um, yeah I really decided that I wanted one for Christmas and I found one on eBay that I wanted and sent my husband the link and fortunately he took notice. So this is the one he bought me. Hopefully you can see that. It's just beautiful isn't it? Purple's my favourite colour. Um, anyway and it's got obviously um, 
and all in one side which obviously you just take out and push in like that and then put it away to keep it nice and safe so you don't stab yourself and then the other side has a seam ripper so it's just beautiful I'm so grateful for that it comes in a gorgeous little pouch as well so yeah that was the only sewing thing that I got for Christmas everything else was the usual things like smellies clothes makeup um i got some wellies that kind of thing so it was really lovely didn't get any fabric apart from obviously what jay's got me um which is fine because as you can see behind me there is lots and lots of fabric there and um i've been such a good girl in the sales that i haven't bought any fabric at all i have had a look round, and there was one fabric that i wanted but it was sold out um, from Guthrie and Garney because as we've just talked about how gorgeous this colour is um, I have a green pleated skirt um, a long sort of midi length um, fine pleated skirt and it's like that forest green colour and I wanted I wanted to make a freyer in this burgundy um, to go with that green I think that would work quite well and Guthrie and Garney had some really lovely like a grape coloured, no it's not grape, it, it is burgundy I think, but I don't think they called it burgundy. Um, I think it was like a modal jersey, um, but it sold out in that colour and I haven't actually found anywhere else that sells any jersey in um, the same sort of colour. There's very similar colours but not the same, it is this deep, deep burgundy that I want. So, um, so yeah, so if anybody knows where anyone is selling that then let me know um, because in all my stash I don't have that colour. So I must get it, mustn't I? Anyway, enough, enough procrastinating. We need to get on with sewing this coat again, don't we? So if you remember, it's this one that I am making and I have made it before. It's the leopard print burgundy one that I wore it actually while my daughter was here, wore it a couple of times. And um, yeah, I've cut out all the pattern. And I've just realized, I've just found a by hand London pattern pdf in here as well i'm not sure which one this is oh it's the kim dress don't know why that's in there but anyway um yeah so i am going to be sewing up this today and um if you remember it's this gorgeous mohair it comes up oh somebody at the door bear with me okay so the only thing that i actually did buy in the sales so far which is crafty related is some knitting kits and wool and the gang i'm sure you've all heard of them they're quite a trendy aren't they a trendy knitting um independent i think which is is great because it gets it's made knitting i think more sort of accessible and more fashionable i guess for the younger generation now and even in, in my generation because i don't class myself as the younger generation anymore unfortunately and um yeah they um they had a good sale on this christmas and I haven't bought from them before, mainly because I do think they're very expensive and um, I've been able to get what I've needed elsewhere much cheaper in the past. But I did think they got quite a good sale on this year, so I thought I would try them out. And um, I got two kits. I got the Julia sweater. I'll put a little picture up so you can have a little look. Um, this is it here. This is how it's come in the bag, which is, it's obviously all environmentally friendly in the paper bag, which is quite nice and the wool is in army green which is this color it's really lovely this is this is a cotton but it feels nice actually i've never worked with cotton yarn before and uh, it's got a nice sheen to it so i'm looking forward to having a go at that it classes that as a beginner oh, no sorry it's not it's an easy knit um i don't know if you can see the texture very well but hopefully you'll be able to in the picture the battery's dying so i'm going to just change the battery I'm back so um yeah so I've got the Julia kit now this is knit on six and a half millimeter needles which I already have in my stash so uh yeah once I have finished the blanket that I started knitting before Christmas I'm going to make a start on that I think and the other kit I got was this one which is the don't stop till you've knit enough scarf so that's it there and this is classed as a beginner scarf it looks like it's a moss stitch which i think moss i think it's moss stitch which is you knit one pearl one and then you i think you do it on an uneven number of stitches and then on the reverse row you do knit one pearl one 
and it creates a moth stitch rather than rib stitch. It's the opposite way around. I can't remember totally, to be honest. So I got this in this gorgeous raspberry pink, which this is 100% wool. And yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Really like this. It's lovely. So this is a 200 gram ball of recycled wool, which is really good, isn't it? Um, and yeah, I love this colour to make a real big chunky pink scarf. I think that would be lovely. I didn't get the needles for this and I didn't realise, to be honest, just how big the needles were. So it says you need a pair of 15 millimetre needles. That's obviously UK. In the US, it's that's 19. Um, I don't have that size in my stash and um, they did sell the, the bamboo needles that went with it, but I think they were £10 and I thought that was quite expensive. So what's actually just come from um, who was at the door is was Mr Amazon. Um, I managed to get a pair from there, which I only ordered last night actually, and they've come today already, which is pretty good, isn't it? So these were only £4, so I'm hoping they're okay. They look okay. So um, let's open them up and see. I normally knit on circular needles now, so it's going to be interesting having a go. Wow, look how big they are. So, um, yeah, they look fine. So, yeah, these were £4. And I know some people have issues with Amazon, and um, I get that. But, you know, there's a big difference between £10 and £4, isn't there? So, anyway, got myself some knitting needles now. So, I'm going to pop those in that bag, and I can have a go at that scarf. So, that's cool. Right. Um, we better get cracked on with this coat again, aren't we? Because otherwise I'm just going to spend the rest of the morning chatting to you guys and not actually get any sewing done. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, so a few people have commented previously on this chalk pen that I use and it's very much like a... Um, what do they call those pencils, those automatic pencils that you can get? It's got a really fine nib to it and it's refillable as well and it's made by Prim. Now I got this from Amazon ages ago and everybody at the retreat was going mad over it um, and wanting to borrow it all the time and then over the last couple of days I've run out. Um, it has a, an eraser at the top end as well although I've never really used that. So I just wanted to show you where you can get it from. Now this isn't an affiliate link because I don't have any affiliate links. I'm not that tech savvy and haven't got a clue how to do that so I won't earn anything from um, you going and buying this at all but a few people have asked where you get it from and basically all I did was in the search bar in Amazon just put prim chalk pen and it comes up with a few options but this is the one I bought it now comes with two cartridges white and purple um, mine just came with white when I got it and it was £7.80 so um, and I've just bought myself some refills which are here um in white so hopefully I mean they were £4.35 I'm not sure how many come in the packet oh it's a six so that should last ages hopefully but um yeah oh look at that one that one's nice oh you see I'm getting swayed by all the um all the nice, nice, pretty things. I think that's actually just a pen, though. It's a cartridge pencil. It's very pretty, though, isn't it? Anyway, sorry, we digress. Um, yes, so I've just ordered some refills, but then I'm going to be here while the 2nd of January. Hmm. So I'm going to have to cope without it. But yes, it's pretty essential in my sewing kit. Right, if you've never used a snitch and pattern before, Obviously, they're a German pattern company, but there's just a couple of things to be aware of. Now, instructions-wise, this is all you get. You don't get any pretty pictures or um, hand-holding at all. They very much expect you to sort of know what you're doing. And the first lot is in German, and then the second bit is in English, but it's obviously just in points. Now, I would say that the English translation is pretty much there. There's the odd little phrase which doesn't quite make sense, but you can work it out. And um, the other good thing is that they do have a website with um, tutorials with a link to the photograph step by step bits on there as well, which is really useful. I've only made this once before and I had to use that because a couple of the steps I didn't totally understand how they came together and the tutorials on the website that it links to are really very good so I would say that if you aren't familiar with their patterns and you're a little bit stuck then definitely go and check that out because it will help you. Now um, 
I'm hoping because I've got a little bit more experience under my belt now that I shouldn't find this too much of an issue this time. The main problem I had making this last time was attaching the lining to the sleeves. Um, that caused me no end of headaches to figure out how that came together and I know so over it have a better explanation of how to do that on one of their jackets but I can't remember which one it is but um, otherwise yeah it's there's no hand holding with snitch and patterns it very much is very brief but sometimes you know sometimes I quite like that because when you're having to sift through lots and lots and lots of steps it's great if you're a beginner and you're wanting that step-by-step -step, um, instruction to help you you know put something together that's fantastic but when you get a little bit more experienced and you've put a few things together it can be a little bit frustrating when you're having to sift through um a lot of fluff i guess just to get to the bits that you really need so um yeah so it's it's a bit debatable as to whether it's helpful or not but anyway hopefully this time it's going to be a bit more straightforward for me and we'll see how we get on I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, but the outer shell is now complete. So pockets are in there with that gorgeous lining. I don't know if you can just see that peeping out there. Sleeves are on. Um, and uh, yeah, it's all constructed. The shawl collar is done, which is just there. And next I've got to sort the lining and attach it to the facing. Um, but I'm going to go and have some lunch first because I'm starving. Good morning. So it's now Sunday and as you can see, I'm wearing the finished coat again. So yeah, I um, did finish it yesterday. I put a picture on Instagram, but I it was quite dark actually when I finished. So I didn't get a chance to take any footage, but as you can see, I'm wearing it. We are just heading into town, just do a little bit of shopping um, with despite the amount we spent for Christmas. On food last week we seem to be running low so we just need a few bits for this week and we're going to B&Q as well to choose some paint for our bedroom uh, the wallpapers come and uh, yeah we're going to be painting our wardrobes as well and um, we need to choose some paint for the walls now we've got the wallpapers so that's exciting so we'll take you along with us and uh, yeah I'm going to do a separate vlog on a review of this pattern but I'm really pleased with how it's come out although when I'd finished it I all I could think about those of you that are in the UK and are similar age to me may remember the Muppets I grew up with the Muppets well when I was about five six years old and I used to watch them all the time and uh, yeah they um, all I could picture in the in my head was I look like a Muppet I'm gonna put a little picture right now yeah that's what I look like or that's what I think I look like in this coat but uh, yeah anyway Martin's here say hello Morning. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to head off to town, so see you later. Right, we're back from shopping and I thought you might want to see a little bit more of a close-up of the coat again. So I'm going to show you that now. Right then, so here it is. And yeah, this I, I've done this just to show you a little bit more of the lining. So it's beautiful, isn't it? I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, I put one of my labels in at the top as well, so I'll, I can hang it up. And it has the front pockets here that are lined in the same line fabric. Just see that there peeking out. Um, I'll just pull back a bit so you can have a little bit more of a look. But yeah, really, really happy with it. So as I mentioned earlier, I am going to do a proper review of it in a separate vlog. But uh, yeah, love that. So yeah, so it's great, isn't it? Really, really love it. And um, I wore it shopping, it's really warm, so it's lovely. Anyway, I am going to probably love you and leave you now. I am gonna get on with doing a little bit of sewing this afternoon. I've bought some more wool for my blanket as well, so I can get on with that now over the next few nights. But this afternoon, I'm gonna do a bit more sewing. I've cut out another top that I'm wearing now. This is the Nico top by True Bias, yeah. Um, and I am going to make another one because it's just lovely. This is in a, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's like a grey um, wool jersey that I got from Sew Essential and I've got one in a, um, a purpley colour that I'm going to I'm going to have a go at. I know I was mentioning yesterday that I wanted to get some fabric from Guthrie and Garney and it was sold out. But I did actually find some very similar in my stash. So I've cut one out, I cut it out last night and I'm going to get that sewn up this afternoon. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday and uh, I'll probably catch up with you really soon. Take care, bye.